Your grandmother is also here as well. I also just saw, did you also just lose the dog as well? Oh my God. That dog is here with your grandmother because she keeps saying to me, I have her baby here. I have her baby here. Your grandmother is that is self-described psychic medium. Matt Frazier giving a reading to a woman whose father had died. Frazier tours the country hosting these sold out live events. He's a New York Times bestselling author. He's got a new book out. It's called, I like this title, Don't Wait Till You're Dead, Spirit's Advice from the Afterlife. He is sharing lessons that he says that he has learned from the other side. And we're happy to say that Matt Frazier joins us in the studio. Welcome to you. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here with you. We're glad to have you here. We're going to get into your abilities in just a sec, but I want people to know a little bit about your background. You said you were bullied as a kid, and that helped make you a successful medium. How? Well, you know what? If you would have seen me as a kid, you would have never, ever, ever seen the person that I am now because I ate lunch alone. Nobody liked me. They made fun of my accent and who I was. And, you know, back when I was younger, I took a lot of abuse from kids kids at school. Mm -hmm. And I learned to not be myself. I learned to be quiet. I learned to be silent. I learned to do things alone because I was afraid of what others were going to talk about or say about me or tease me about. And then as I grew older, I realized it wasn't me. It was them. Mm -hmm. Right. And then as I evolved and I grew and I grew into the person that I was and I started coming out with my mediumship, telling people that I could see and hear dead, seeing here the dead, that same thing started happening, is that they were naysayers. There were people that were talking about me. But, but this now time you say bring me. it on. You say bring it on. What Absolutely. is it that you see, Matt, that others don't? So here's the one thing that I want you to know, is that negative people in life want to do one thing. They are negative within their own being, and they want to stop you from reaching your goals. They want to stop you from meeting your soulmate. They want to stop you from living life. They want to stop you from being the successful person that you are. So the one thing is, is that the best way to beat negativity is to just Keep going. Become your own success story. Don't let other people try to shape your future or hold you down. What are some of the regrets that you say people tell you, the medi through as a medium, tell you? Um, you talk about it in the book, but these spirits that are with us, what are some of the biggest regrets and lessons that we're supposed to learn from our sort of angel team, if you will? So and everybody we, has an angel team. They, we all do. We all have an angel and a spirit guide that's with us. And at the end of our life, we actually get to meet our guardian angel in our spirit guide. And we also get to look back on our life and see some of our biggest regrets. And some of those biggest regrets that souls have had here is not finding out their life purpose while they're alive, right? There's a reason why you're living and breathing. And also at the same time, so many times as humans, we go through self-doubt where we don't believe in ourselves, right? We have low self-esteem. We're afraid to use our gifts and talents. We're afraid of what other people will say about us and we suppress those things when really we could use those to change the world and to become our own success story. So really looking back, souls say, oh my God, my life could have been so much different if I just would have done this, 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 and this. And that's why they want to encourage us. They want to encourage us to live our true potential and to follow our own life path. So you say that you've known about your abilities since you were a child. Um, how did you get in touch with those abilities? And is there something unique about you that sets you apart from, for example, the rest of us? Could we develop this ability, other so people? I have been told by Spirit that we all have a psychic gift. We, we all have a way to sense our loved ones, feel our loved ones, connect with our loved ones, just in different ways. And when I was a little kid, to answer your question, I grew up like that little boy from the sixth sense. I could see and hear and feel the departed, but I was petrified and I had no idea what it actually meant. I thought that the house was haunted or where I was going was haunted, and I pushed it away for many years. But there was one thing that always stayed with me, is that even though I could make the soul stop talking, I always felt people on a different level. I could feel people's pain, feel people's energy. So I actually started my career as an EMT, where I worked for the World Trade Center in Boston, for the Security Operations Department. And it wasn't until I went to see a medium myself that I realized, oh my God, I can do this too. And I realized, I could help people to heal on a different way. Do you see people here in the studio? Absolutely. You do? What, 100%. Tell, describe what you're seeing. So what happens is, is that when there's a soul that didn't get to say goodbye, didn't get to say something here in this world, they'll use me to do so. And as I'm talking to you right now, right away, Gil, your mother's here. Because right away I kept hearing, I'm her mother, I'm her mother. And right away when I'm connecting, I kept hearing her saying, I wasn't supposed to die like this, I wasn't supposed to die like this. And she just came right behind you because she told me that there's still regrets that you have over your mother's passing here in this world. The one thing that she just said to me is that you still have many questions over how she had died and what had happened. And can I tell you everything? Yeah, because I, I don't really have those. Go, she died of a heart attack. She just so, said to me when I'm going to wait, I'm going to tell you what she tells me. Because okay. well, as I'm talking to you, 
the souls, they, the voices start going. They start bringing me through everything. And the moment that I'm connecting with her, she just said to me that she wasn't feeling good before her passing. Mm -hmm. And you have questions over on that day if she knew that there was something more that was going on or knew that there was something more that was happening. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. She just said to me that the one thing that she wants to let you know is this. When I'm connecting with her, she's bringing me back through her passing. And she said to me, I was trying to wait it out. I was trying to wait it out. That's what she tells me. Mm -hmm. She said to me that she was not feeling good for the past two weeks before her passing. And the one thing is, is that she wants to let you know that she's your cheerleader in heaven. Mm -hmm. and not I do to, believe that. And not to live with any regret about her passing or the day she died. She says that she felt she had to be strong for everybody else around her, and she didn't want anyone to be worried about what was going on with her and her body. Well, I hope my sisters are watching so we can discuss, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Matt. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll talk to you about that off camera. All right. It's called, don't we? All right, don't wait until you're dead. It's on sale tomorrow.